Things parents do that piss me off. When you ask your parents, hey, can we go to McDonald's? And they say, you got McDonald's money. Every problem in the world stems from my phone. I can be looking for something as simple as a sock. And I tell my mom, hey, I can't find my sock. And she'd be like, yeah, that's because you're always on that damn phone. I can come home on some nights at like 1 o'clock in the morning and hear absolutely nothing. But one night, come home at 1045 and they're like, where have you been? You are never right in any situation. For instance, you can go to your mom and say, hey, but mom, 2 plus 2 is 4. And she says, no, on the syllabus, it says 2 plus 2 is 3. So today, 2 plus 2 is going to be 3. You ever go somewhere like church and church ends at 12, so you expect to leave at 12, but somehow your parents get caught up in 87 different conversations and it's 2.45 p.m. and you're sitting on the steps eating candy waiting for them. Lastly, why is it that every time I ask to go out, they need to know who, what, when, where, why, and just, just, just let me go out. Thank you for your time. I'm about to drop some facts. Netflix is not Netflix without subtitles. Math in elementary school used to actually be fun, and then as soon as I got to middle school and high school, it just became my worst and most hated subject. Ice cream is better than cake because the frosting is just ugh. No disrespect, but the new Spongebob, Looney Tunes, and Tom and Jerry episodes have absolutely nothing on the original episode. I use my AirPods a lot, but if you ever see me with my beats on, just know that I am in my feelings because the AirPods didn't have enough bass to hit the notes that I needed the music to hit. My athletes know about this one. Selling chocolate for your sports team used to be the worst thing ever. You'd just be walking up to people like, Hey, Miss Henry, um, would you like to buy a bar of chocolate? Looking like Spongebob. When it comes to superheroes, I've always liked Batman the most because he could whoop everybody with no superpower. Lastly, if you sleep with socks on, you are just... You're just disgusting. Thank you for your time. <laughs> Girls, listen up. Why is it that you can have an attitude sometimes, and then when we ask you what the problem is, you say, nothing, nothing's wrong, I'm fine. And then when we say, okay, well then I'll leave you alone, now you're mad again. Why is it that when we ask you if you want something to eat, you say no, but then when we show up with food, now you want to eat half my bag of fries, a bite of my burger, and two of my chicken tenders. Girls, y'all can ask us, do you want me to come over? And we'll say, yeah, you can come over. And then y'all like to say, but do you want me to come over? If I said yes, you can come over. That means yes, I would like for you to come over. If I ask you for your Snapchat or your Instagram, why are you giving it to me if you're not going to text me back? Women, the reason we say women are always right is because sometimes there's no winning with you guys. We can hit you with a fact. Like, 3 plus 3 equals 6. And you know what you'll say? Nah, because you ain't counting right. 3 plus 3 equals 5. 3, 4, 5. Okay, you ain't doing math right. And that's when we just... You're right. Thank you for your time. These are some more things that piss me off. If you are in the bathroom and you know that you are... Courtesy flush. Please, because you... You just smell terrible. If you see me wearing shades indoors, mind your business. Why is it that in every scary movie I watch, the black person always dies first? The black person can be in the middle of the line walking through the house. Somebody here and here, and somehow the person here goes missing first. Then you got the people behind them like, where'd Keith go? For all of you watching this, this atrocity here is not mine. I am a proud and sad Giants fan. The best cartoons growing up were Looney Tunes and Tom and Jerry. No discussion. Leftover food tastes better when you heat it up in the oven versus when you heat them up in the microwave, but I'll still be putting them in the microwave because I don't want to wait that long. Lastly, if it's 90 degrees outside, why are you coming outside in pants and a hoodie? You're making me hot. Thank you for your time. Things parents don't understand. Number one, okay, if I'm playing the game online, I cannot pause the game because there's other people playing live with me. So how am I going to pause the game if they're playing too? Number two, you ever think, you know what? I'm going to be a responsible child and I'm going to do the dishes. And on your way to do the dishes, your mom says, hey, yo, make sure you do them dishes. See, now I don't want to do them anymore because when I do it by myself, I'm thinking, you know what? This could be calming for me. But when you ask me to do it, now I'm required to do it. It's like reading, okay? For all of you that don't know, reading is just as addicting as Netflix is. But the thing is, I don't want to read when the teacher or my parents are telling me to do it. Because now it's not fun anymore. Lastly, I cannot stand when I'm in the bathroom and I've only been in there for like three minutes and somebody's... <coughs> what you in there doing? Like, what do you think I'm doing in the bathroom? You, you, making a sandwich? Thank you for your time. All right, I got some more facts for you. I will never be too old to watch Spongebob. If you never played that game as a kid where you had to jump onto things because you thought the floor was lava, you have not lived your life. Y'all ever been in class and had one of those dreams? You know, you got your head down and then you start falling in your dream. And as soon as you wake up, you'd be like, oh, shit. 
then the teacher would be like, you straight? You'd be like, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. If you have not spent at least a couple months binge watching either Family Guy, The Office, or Friends, I don't know if we can actually be friends. If we're in a relationship and you play with my hair, I'm getting a ring. I like the hot more than the cold because it's much better for me to be sweating than freezing my ass off. If you see me walking with my headphones in, do not talk to me. Give me a minute. I am in thug mode, okay? I am whipping and flipping bricks in my head, okay? And you talking to me is no. Lastly, if you live in the South where you know it can tend to get very hot and humid, please put on deodorant. Please. Thank you for your time. Girls, I have a question. Or several questions for that matter. Why is it that you sometimes hit guys up and say, hey, I think you're cute. And then when we respond, you somehow fall off the face of the planet and never respond again. Or like sometimes you guys do that thing where you get super touchy-feely with a guy, like a guy friend. You know, you give him hugs all the time. You know, you hold, you hold his hand, you know. But then whenever something about a relationship comes up, you're like, oh, but we're just friends. Why is it that you can have such deep and intense feelings for a guy, right? But you can't ever approach him and just say, hey, I have feelings for you. Why is it always up to me to have to approach you and tell you how I feel even though you feel the same way that I feel? Another question, do y'all just start flirting with guys sometimes because you're bored? Like, you just you just be bored and you got nothing else to do, so you just like, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna just play with Xavier's feelings today. And lastly, the most important one, why do you like touching my ass? I do not like that, okay? To be completely honest, it makes me feel less masculine, okay? Thank you for your time. I'm about to spread some facts. First of all, let me get this straight. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is the best cereal, period. If you wonder why your breath stink, it's probably because you don't floss. Avocados taste like grass dirt sauce. Caramel is pronounced caramel and not caramel. And pecan is pronounced pecan and not pecan. If you don't run up the steps after you turn the downstairs light off, you're a maniac. And I'm not scared of the dark. I'm scared of what's in the dark. Apple juice is better than orange juice. Spiders are the scariest thing on the planet. PS4 is better than Xbox One. Summer's better than winter, but fall is the best season. Androids may have better technology than iPhones, but I guarantee you when the next iPhone comes out, I'll be first in line. Anime is not a cartoon. It is a spiritual experience. And lastly, soda is soda and not pop, and lollipops are lollipops, not dum-dums. Thank you for your time. Things that grind my gears. Women, thank you for your time.